number one question I get asked on this channel more than anything else is how do I pay for my clothes? And for the first time ever today, I am going to answer that question in full. Usually when people ask it, I will make a joke about it or just give a really quick short answer that doesn't fully explain everything. But right now, in this video, I'm going to tell you first how I make my money that I spend on all these clothes and two, how I then spend that money to get the most bang for my buck. I'm not special. This is something that anybody can do. It's not a get rich quick scheme or anything. I'm not about that. It's just a way if you're interested to make a few extra bucks and buy some cool clothes or whatever the hell else you want. So let's get into it. Yo, 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 before we get too much further, subscribe to the channel. I make tons of luxury and streetwear content. And also, if you're looking for deals on luxury and streetwear, check the description. I've got some of the best sites with all authentic stuff. Check it out. So the short answer to that question of how do I make my money is that I flip stuff. That's normally what I tell people when they ask in the comments, but that's not all there is to it because what am I flipping? Where do I get it? Where do I sell it? So let's get into that in a little bit more depth. So here is what I flip. As you can see, I've got bins on bins on bins here. These are the button downs. We're going to talk about those more in a little bit. But essentially, I'm going to thrift stores and finding luxury vintage men's clothing that I think people will be into, and then I'm selling it. Uh, I happen to live in an area with a bunch of really great thrift stores. We've got Goodwills, Salvation Army, Savers, on and on and on. So there's a bunch of places for me to rotate between and pick this stuff up. And here's the inside of one of those things of button downs. And here's my first suggestion for you, okay? Uh, don't do button downs. I started doing this before COVID and it was, it was going pretty well. I have not sold one of these in so long. I've got bins of button downs, okay? Just kind of an inventory problem for me. So at least until everyone gets back into the office, maybe stay away from the button downs. But let me just show you what we're working with here. Like it is not super, super luxury stuff. Like this is a shirt from Hermenegildo Zenia, who is a brand, very high luxury brand, but one that you find at thrift stores all the time. Like, you're not gonna find Gucci all the time. I've found real Gucci, but it is very few and far between. Much more often, you're gonna find Zenia, Canali, um, Hugo Boss, things like that, uh, Ben Sherman, Woolrich. All of these brands are ones that you can resell. Here are some polos and stuff like that. And you've really got to decide what makes it worth it for you. So I have some kind of rules for myself. For instance, if I thrift something for $5, if that's what the cost is, I'm not going to buy that unless I think I can make at least $20 profit on it. That is what I feel my time is worth because I have to go and list it. And then once it sells, I've got to pack it up, go to the post office, drop it off. So 20 bucks is what my, I feel my time is worth. So you just kind of have to set that number for yourself. You could most certainly do it for less, or you could really hold out and say, I'm only going to thrift this thing to resell if I think I can sell it for at least 50 bucks or even more, because that is possible. You just have to be a bit pickier. Like we've got some shoes here. Here are actually, speak of the devil, some Gucci's going on over there. Um, you can find some really, really good shoes like these are Ferragamos. These are some crazy Kuji ones. Let's zoom that out. Isn't that cool? Never seen something like that before. And all this stuff, even, even Jordans, although good ones are harder to find at thrift stores these days. All this stuff is findable for very, very cheap, and it'll resell for way higher than you could even expect. Now, it will take you some time to figure out what pieces will actually sell. You may see something and be like, ooh, that's gonna be a gold mine. And then you sit on it for nine months without anyone buying it. And then finally they buy it for like five bucks more than you paid. You're gonna have to do that to learn how it works, but eventually you will figure out what brands sell and which ones don't, and it will go a lot easier. And you can find all types of stuff. Like we've seen the button downs, like polos, uh, shoes, I've got sweatshirts and jackets, like this is a Jordan one, this is Marmot. And the only thing I would say to you is I would actually stay away from things like t-shirts and stuff like that and the hypes like Nike sneakers because those sections are the ones that are going to be picked dry and probably not have anything left for you. It's more worth your time to actually look at the other sections like 
your jackets, stuff like that, and uh, see what you can find there because you're much more likely to find good stuff that has not yet been picked at. For example, I've found that a great section to look at is suits and blazers. Now, why is that? That is because people just aren't picking those sections. Like, People who are reselling on stuff, they're looking for sneakers and t-shirts. They're not looking for suits and blazers. So you can get in there. I just picked this one out at random. Let's see what this is. So this is by Pringle of Scotland, a luxury brand, not a hype brand by any means, but at retail, this was probably this blazer, like, I don't know, five, $600 would be my guess. I'm not going to get nearly that much when I sell it. I'm probably going to get about $40 for it, but I paid I'm going to guess it was like $7. So listen, that is money in my pocket at the end of the day. So I think I've essentially covered what we need to here, but there are so many different sections you can go with here. And I go with pretty much all of them. Like we've got jeans right here. Like, let's see, what kind are these? These are Citizens of Humanity jeans. I paid, again, not much for them. I'll probably sell them for like $35. We've got dress pants. Like here's another pair from Xenia right here. Again, this is going to make me like 30 bucks. And I got bins on bins of stuff like sweaters here. Like the first one at the top of the bin here. This is one from, if I remember correctly, All Saints right there. And that's going to be an easy 35, 40 bucks for me at the end of the day. And one thing I really like about sweaters is that as long as you know what kind of like patterns and stuff people like, as long as it's like the right vintage and stuff, it doesn't even need to be a luxury brand to make some good money because at thrift stores, sweaters tend to be really, really cheap. And then here's the thing, I make this money from selling this stuff and then I buy my own stuff. And here's the thing, I don't always love everything I buy. So if I don't wear it, I sell it. Like here's a sweater that I'm selling from Tom Brown. This striped one right here is Loewe. This coat peeking out right here is Off-White. And as long as you're buying your clothing right, you are gonna get most, if not all, or even more than you paid out of these pieces when you sell them if you're not wearing them. And that's actually a great transition to our next part of the video. All right, so now that we know how I make my money, there's a second part to this, right? And that is how do I spend my money? So let's get into that. So there are two ways that I buy stuff without completely breaking my budget. And that is either super sale or resale. So let's start with super sale. So if you watch the channel, you've probably heard me talk about this site before. This is List, L-Y-S-T, and there's a couple ways you can do this. If you go to Men or Women, Sale, and then pick your category, let's say Clothing, then they've got all these filters down here, okay? And if we look under Sale right here, we can choose all of these. So let's go Most on Sale. It has to be 70% off or more and see what we've got. We've got Vetmont pieces on sale from $1,500 to $400, Palm Angels for $130, bucks. Versace for $60, Valentino, D Squared, Kenzo, Dolce & Gabbana, except eh, not that, Rick Owens, Needles. Ooh, these Needles pants are sick. Anyway, it goes on and on, and it's all available. You can refine it. You probably can't see this under my camera, but you can go to Designers and say, I only want to see stuff from Alix, okay? And then here you've got it, uh, $87 for these shorts. Any Alix under $100 is a pretty good deal in my book, I'd say. And then there's one other site that I find really good for this, very similar. It's called Shop Style. Again, I'm going to filter it down to men. And the best way to do this, I would just say search for a brand. Let's go with Balenciaga. And let's say you're, you just want to find something, this one, let me zoom in again only goes up to over 50% off. They don't have this 70% option. So let's do over 50% off. And I'm just looking for the cheapest Balenciaga thing on sale I can find. We'll filter it by lowest price. And we see, oh, we got the mold slides. Okay, for $162, I am gonna buy these wild yellow slides from Balenciaga. Maybe not totally your style, but that is a very, very good price. So that is super sale. Now, how about the other part of the equation, resale? Well, if you're watching this video, you're probably somewhat aware, but let's just start going through them. I would consider Grailed like the gold standard here. They have the best selection, in my opinion, of any of these resale sites. So let's say we're looking for some Rick Owens. Uh, they've got a great selection of that. I would just say 
make sure that you go down here to designer and filter it so it's just Rick Owens because let me show you if you start let's say we want to sort this by lowest price it's like avant-garde Italian vintage Gildan uh, Lee Adidas we don't we're just looking for Rick Owens so let's check off Rick Owens and Rick Owens dark shadow and now it's only those designers it's a lot of tote bags at the lower end of things but eventually we should get to yeah, some t-shirts for 60 bucks each. Like that's a really, really good price. Another really good one that kind of goes under the radar is Vestiaire Collective, okay? So this site is much more European focused. Like Grail, I would say, is a bit more US centric. Vestiaire is very, very, it's, I think it's bigger outside the US than in the US. And for that reason, I've found that it tends to be cheaper and they have a bit more interesting variety of items. So let's say we're talking about Balenciaga here. And let's filter it by men. And instead of going by low price, let's go by most recent here. And let's see the coolest thing we can find that you don't see every day. Um, some sneakers, typical t-shirts, stuff like that. Some cool boots right there, but way too expensive. Um, and then eventually we will definitely find something that I'm vibing. What do we got here? And here we go. Just after a little bit of scrolling, this is a really cool piece. I actually own this piece myself. So let's look at that. It's a really, really cool like sweatshirt uh, parka type thing. And this is $336 for this piece. A very rare piece, one that you don't see every day. And if this was on Grailed, I'm guessing it would be listed for like six to $800 and they maybe would take an offer of like 500. So seeing that right off the bat listed at 336 is incredible and not something you would find on I think really any other resale site. So that is what I like Vestier for. Now Vestier, they do claim to authenticate everything on this site, although I've had issues with that. So do your own due diligence to some degree there. The Real Real also authenticates everything on this site so you can feel safe there and while I don't love the site, they do definitely get some gems on there. And then you start getting into some of the other things, like let's say Poshmark. This is way more kind of free for all, and you've got to be really, really careful and make sure that you're authenticating your own stuff here because they're not authenticating. There are a lot of fakes on here. But if you don't feel comfortable doing your own authentication, there is a workaround. So let's say you buy something on uh, Poshmark and you're not sure if it's real. Uh, just make sure you set aside 30 bucks or so so that you can go to a site like this. This one's real authentication and they will authenticate your piece just based on photos that you send them. There's also Mercari, which I would say is even a little bit sketchier than Poshmark, but it is quite popular and you will find some unique stuff on there that hasn't been posted on other sites. Depop is really good for a certain aesthetic. It's very uh, zoomery, I would say. So very much like vintage band shirts and stuff like that, but also a lot of designer stuff as well. And you've got the old standby, eBay. They've got great stuff on here. And for some clothing and sneakers, they've even started doing authentication. So if you search, I know they're doing it for Rick Owens. So yeah, some shoes at least will have this little check mark and it says authenticity guarantee. And that means it's going to get shipped to eBay where they will authenticate it and then send it to you, which I think is really cool. It goes even further than this. Like I've seen stuff at Vinted before. That's an option. You could go to Tradesy. It all depends on how far down the rabbit hole you're looking to go. But no matter what price you're looking for, you're gonna find something. It may not be exactly what you're looking for, but you will find something cool. I can pretty much guarantee that. And here's the thing, I have a day job. It's a good job, I like it, but I am not rich by any means whatsoever. But even that being said, I try, I really try and barely ever spend any money out of my day job's paycheck on clothes. Pretty much everything I spend is coming from everything I've shown you in this video today. So it's honestly very, very doable and it doesn't take me a crazy amount of time. It's just a bit of time in my free time when it's available, you get out what you put in essentially. So listen, does it work for everybody? Probably not, but I wanted to show you how I do it because people wanna know all the time and I really do think it's replicable if that's something that any of you are interested in. So I have finally answered the question, 
how do I make all this money that I spend on clothes? I hope that satisfied you. I hope you found it interesting. Let me know if you like this. This was a different kind of style video than we've done before. Uh, take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.